People will say, well, do you want the good news or the bad news first? So should we do the bad stuff and then veer our way into Jeremy Hunt's massive package? So, um, to coin a phrase, so no surprise that food price inflation is high. Everybody that shops knows it. Uh, so 17.1% increase in food prices during the four weeks to February the 19th compared to the same period in 2022. These aren't official numbers. They're survey numbers by a private sector company, mm. Cantor, very reputable. Uh, and that's much, much higher than the basic rate of inflation. The basic rate of inflation at the moment is now 10.1%. It peaked at 11.1%. But as we all know, this massive inflation has been driven by fuel costs, mm. energy prices, utility bills and food. And utility bills and food are still elevated prices. Petrol prices now are back down where they were before the war in Ukraine. Though, of course, diesel prices are still 20% mm. higher. Work that one out. I can't. I'm waiting for an explanation. If I was an energy minister, I would be banging the phones to the petrol companies all day, every day. Why is diesel 20% more expensive than before the war in Ukraine, when oil prices are roughly where they were before, and petrol prices are mm. roughly where they were before? Yeah, indeed. I, and as somebody who drives a diesel, like uh, I would quite like you to be getting on the phones left, right, and centre. Actually, um, right. Okay, can we talk a bit about this fifty-six billion quid that apparently Jeremy Hunt has to play with? Because I was wondering, what could we spend it on? You know, so they're kind of notional numbers, really. But these are the games that are played by broadcasters, the political media, uh, politicians, policymakers in the run-up to and after budgets. So the budgets on March. The 15th. Um, I'll be celebrating on March the 17th because it's St. Patrick's Day. Yes. <laughs> so, so, but don't worry, I'll be sober on March the 15th. So, Mar <laughs> particularly now because this Brexit stuff has been put to one side, let's see if there's a rebellion. Uh, I don't think there will be, but that it's now, we are now in the ramps of this March budget. And what's happened is the Office of Budget Responsibility, as some, some of us said at the time, was over gloomy in forecasting the amount of borrowing the government would have to do, right? Mm. So it's not like suddenly the government's got more money, it's that we may need to borrow a bit less. Right. Okay, so let's just get, get right. that. It's not that we haven't got extra money, we just might not need to borrow so much. Okay. That's, that's worth saying. But it's quite a lot less that we might need to borrow. Mm. 56 billion less yeah. this current fiscal year and the next fiscal year. So what could you do with 56 yes. billion? I mean, that's, that's pretty... That's a lot of nurses. That's 56 followed by nine zeros, right? It's bigger than your salary patch. It is, it, yes. It's, 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 yes. it's pretty big, yeah. but you'll get there. Yeah. So 56 billion, you could cut 10p off the basic rate of income tax. <laughs> Can you tax, imagine? Right? right? You yeah. could you could pay yeah. you could pay 1.6 million extra nurses for a year. Wow. 56 billion is more than we spend on defence, right? 56 billion yeah. is roughly what we spend on schools across England and right. Wales. It's absolutely huge amount of money. So this is the kind of good news yeah. that Jeremy Hunt really doesn't yeah. want to hear because it puts him under enormous pressure because now the public sector unions are going to be going, oh, you've got a lot more money, Chancellor. You can give us more money. Why aren't you giving the nurses more money? Why aren't you giving the yeah. teachers more money? And then he should be saying, no, no, it's not that I've got more money. It's that I don't have to borrow so much and we want to be borrowing less. In fact, we don't want to be borrowing at all. We want to be getting the national debt lower, yeah. right? Yeah. So this I mean, is, is kind of mad economics. Yeah. Is there also, and this is a <laughs> quite unfashionable thing to say, but, uh, you know, if Jeremy Hunt decided that he was going to use this in some way, shape or form to go to nurse, public sector workers, all right, here you go, here's a big pay rise, well, they probably still wouldn't vote for him anyway. Well, you'll have to ask them that. Yeah. But I do think a lot of people, a lot of neutral observers, think that there, there is sort of some politicisation going yeah. on. Do some of the more militant unions or some militant branches of some of the mainstream unions basically just want to mess up the Tory government and get Labour in? Well, yeah. it wouldn't be the first time. No. Obviously, trade union, industrial relations, it's deeply small P but big P party yeah. political as well. And it's, and it's always going to be, and, you know... It's democracy. It's the worst possible system except for all the others. Yes, exactly. As Churchill that. once said. Exactly that. I am just trying to figure out how long it would take me to completely destroy my own life if I was on £56 billion a year. <laughs> so thinking about, about but, we a day. Have, but we have to be clear. You're not going to hear many yeah. other people say this, no, right? No. A lot of people who want to make the government's life difficult say, it's a war chest, it's yeah. a war chest. But, you know, the way we look at the public finances in this country as a media class, there are some exceptions, is yeah. there's always either a black hole yeah. or a war chest. Yeah. It's like nothing, in, no yeah. nuance at all. This is not extra money. Mm. 
It's the fact he may, may, mm. these are still predictions, yeah. particularly for next year, even for the rest of this fiscal year that ends in April, he may have to borrow less than we thought. Right. That does not mean he's got no, extra money. he's not going to go splashing but it that around. That doesn't mean, that won't mean that the unions will say, you've got extra money, you can afford to pay us. No.